see the smile upon your face. These are the moments I thank God that I'm alive. And these are the moments I remember all my life. I've got all I waited for. And I could not ask for more. Darius helped me with all of this. As soon as you get out of the bathroom, I said we go check on him. Dude, if you see his wife, she is smoking hot. I, I mean, he's got to be rich or something. Let me promise you one thing. If it was not his birthday today. Ken and I were at the back going, Can I ask for more? Can I ask for more? I was like, I was like, oh my god, I'm finally starting to hear voices. It's over. Man, you are such a pro because we were doing it for a long time and he was still just rocking right through it. And then he started going, I was like, Man, where are they? I get no, they're out there somewhere. I recognize Ken's off-key warbling anywhere. The uh, thing is, we chainsaw tone. Will you, you guys, will you cut him? Cut at least one piece, and then uh, cut as many pieces as you can get up for to everybody. Because it's it's Edwin's birthday. And uh, listen, let me tell you guys, we've been fortunate enough to meet a lot of folks in our in our illustrious C-level celebrity career. Um, 
That's true. And, and, and of all of them, Ed McCain is probably number 34 or 35. <laughs> yes. No, but uh, honestly, I have to admit, the guy you see, <laughs> the guy you see on stage, he is every much that, that type of a good guy. He is that funny and, uh, and super talented. And I'm not sincere. I'm sincere about... 0.009% of my life and sincerely one of the most talented genuinely kind people in the world right here Mr. Evan McCain. Happy birthday, bro. All right, seriously. I'm not sure what these two balloon animals are. So we went to the Evan McCain show and he just sat on stage and it What are they trying to say? There's a There's a Oh. <laughs> we went to the Edward McCain show and he just sat on stage with Ken and doing making obscene gestures and eating cake. Happy birthday, Edward. All right, happy birthday. Today's my 45th birthday. I've crossed the final hurdle into adulthood. Crossed the final hurdle into adulthood. I realized that I needed these when I had my Kindle, and I had it on the highest setting. And, and Craig came into the bus, and I was sitting there like this, and he goes, "What game are you playing?" And I was like, "I'm not. I'm reading a book." And so I had to go get these, and I went to the, you know, we were in Guam, actually, and I went to the, um, to the big circular rack of bad choices, and I'm standing in front of this thing, just going. And this dude my age walks right behind me and goes, just do it, man. So last year for my birthday, my parents unearthed uh, some Super 8 footage of the day the social worker brought me to them. I was, a, I was an adopted kid and, uh, in 1970, and this is so priceless. I've never seen this footage, and they just, they, I don't know where Dad found it. He's like, hey, look what I found. Anyway, so this is the image. Like, I love it so much. Blue Ford Fairlane pulls up the driveway and it's just some dude in a 60-40 polyester shirt. No jacket, big wide tie, 1970, remember? And me, four months old, sitting in a diaper on the front seat. No seat belt, no, of course no car seat. No seat belt. And he kinda, he kinda, he kinda scoops me off the seat. Like, you know, walks across the parking lot, or the driveway, and, and just goes, <laughs> turns around and get in, gets in his car and leaves like, here's your pizza. <laughs> and I think it is the most perfect way to be delivered to people ever. <laughs> in the days of, of everyone, you know, Pinteresting, you know, a thousand people to their house for the moment and making a big deal out of it. I think that the fact that that's how I, I landed is perfect. 